So recently I did a video talking about uh, Bible reading plans and how I was able to get through the Bible uh, more efficiently. And I actually recently read through the Bible in about three months' time. And uh, the main way that I did that was to find a good Bible reading plan. And so I gave you some suggestions on that and uh, some sample Bible reading plans. So you can watch that video. Uh, but I also thought it would be helpful uh, in the uh, on the subject of Bible reading plans uh, and reading through the Bible uh, to also recommend uh, getting a Bible format that is conducive to reading large portions of Scripture. I feel like a lot of Bibles, uh, you know, they have small print and they're made more for study than for reading long sections of Scripture. And especially as you get a little bit older, it, it, it can really cause eye fatigue to be reading small print for a long time. I know I already have that problem. And so another thing that was really helpful was to find a Bible that had a good format. And the Bible that I read through in about three months' time was uh, this Holman CSB single column personal size Bible. And uh, what's so good about it is that uh, it is formatted with a single column uh, paragraph style formatting, much like you would get in a book that you would normally read through. Uh, but also the font size on it is, uh, is about a 10 or more size font. And that's a big recommendation that I would have is, is to get a 10 point font or more. Uh, this is modern printing done by 2K Denmark, so this font is really, uh, really good for reading, really easy on the eyes, and there's a lot of good Bibles out there uh, now that are being produced with that good quality font. And again, a 10 point or higher is uh, what I would recommend. Uh, I have another one here too that uh, is a good example. This is a uh, Church Bible Publishers Turquoise and this font in here is probably right around an 11 point. And again, even though this is a more traditional format, just the way that, that this print looks really helps. Another thing I should mention that affects readability would be not only the font size, but the line spacing. Uh, if you have lines that are too close together, it can really be hard to read. I, I find that that can be distracting. So having good spacing, and you can see on the CSB there's good line spacing. On the turquoise, there's good space between the lines, so that really helps a lot with readability. Also, a lot of newer Bibles have line matching, so the lines on one side of the page will match up with the lines on the other side of the page, so you don't get a lot of show through. And when you get a lot of bleed through, that's really distracting, so line matching can really help with that. But if you have good uh, opacity on your paper and the paper doesn't have a lot of show through, that's also really helpful. So I highly recommend if you want to read through the Bible uh, that you make sure you have a Bible that's uh, a little bit easier on your eyes. And then one other thing that could help is just to think about what translation would be good for you. I have a Bible translation series on this channel if you want to check that out. It'll, it might help you to understand more about the different translations that are out there. And uh, some of them are really good, really accurate, some maybe not as much. So I recommend trying to get a good accurate translation, but also try to get a translation that you feel you can really understand and really resonates with you. Uh, so check out the Bible translation videos. But with Bible translation that is good for you and a good format, uh, it'll really help you in your Bible reading to be consistent and to be able to read long portions of scripture over a long period of time. So I hope that's helpful to you, and thank you so much for watching these videos brought to you from a first perspective.